now using the side back section into the full side section taking a little guide over you can see there just being able to blend it through into the sides not working against the skin but immediately holding the section away from the face therefore creating a softer line and going straight in and removing the bulk slowly working up my graduation blending the outside line with the inner edge of the soft shear to get a very nice blend coming down now and looking for the response we can already see the shape being totally changed in a matter of moments no complicated small sectioning that's the advantage of using the eidetic cutting system that Horst and Friends International have designed we can go straight into the shape making it very productive and also very exciting for most of us the excitement lies within the finished look coming on to the other side now and working it into the back guide productivity really is the key these days we understand that really most hairdressers can cut hair well now we really feel that the advantage now comes from using techniques such as these to really increase our ability to be productive and to satisfy the clientele keeping the sections clean working through on the angle of the top section so that we get a nice blend for the top section when we bring it down combing it making sure it works in all directions one never knows the direction the clients going to change the hairstyle to once she leaves the salon so we look for the response and we cut within the direction the hair has a tendency to want to go itself now this is a very important section we're taking the full crownal section and we're working it over onto the side which the client prefers to have a weight distribution on we're combing it down and picking up a guide from the side and back and working them in together bringing it back into the line section just behind the ear making sure it's very smooth now really mastering control over the hair checking underneath for our guide and now coming straight in and blending that outside line through it's a very bulky section so it's important that we blend it through as you can see I'm doing right now blending through that weight then picking that section up again elevating just slightly and blending through again the more graduation that's required on the crown the more elevation is required still keeping in the same size section keeping control over the amount of hair that we have in our comb this is probably the hardest part to get used to is the size of sectioning that you see us use that's why we use a large comb it enables us to master the art of controlling more fiber or what we call hair now connecting across the crown elevating the front sections back as you see so we don't lose the length towards the front as we really want to attain a very full bang area with some shagginess coming across there 
from the other side of the parting and connecting again back into the crown. Very clear and easy technique. Booby Kopf being little boy head has many variations. It's really an accentuation of occipital area and angle of jaw line. So little boy head doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be really short. It's just the accentuating of that occipital and jaw line that makes it representative of the little boy head, booby kopf. Now we're bringing some of the other side over so that in some cases if the client doesn't get a parting absolutely right in the morning, we don't get these long pieces hanging over the other side. Now we're combing the weight over. And really the focus point on this shape is really connecting in the crown because we have this very heavy side and then the shorter side. So I really like to spend a little time and accuracy on a nice blend here. Bringing up the short side, over directing the long side to a point where we get a nice complementary blend here. Again, working it over and directing that section over towards the crown and just softening that line to ensure the blend. 